very similar to the Orange Bowl situation where we ran out of time, didn't get a field goal, but he was able to get in the end zone there. That's the worst play that turned out good ever. Uh, man, uh, I mean, holy cow. Uh, yeah, that was – Oh, man. Uh, yeah, we had time out, you know. We talked about it, and like, you know, you cannot run this ball. We got to throw the ball. You know, we got to get the points here. And he made it by that much. Uh, I don't even know if you could put a piece of paper between how what close it was. But, hey, we caught a break. He made a play. But, yeah, that would have been – and that field goal was huge, right? I mean, you know, the three-point game was huge. If, if, if we, we needed the one – and uh, obviously the touchdown was was big, but whoo, yeah, it's good to be able to coach and that, coach that with success. So the only worst play was the fake punt. Uh, it was the only worst play of the game. The thinking on the fake punt. Yeah, we went into the game with if, it, if we had fourth and a long one, you know, maybe a one and a half to, in between or two, we were going to call it. And, um, you know, I got to look at it on tape. I, 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 I mean, we, I'm not sure if the guy ran through it. They didn't, they didn't replay it, uh, so I never got a chance to see it. But I'm not sure if they ran a guy through the A-gap and we didn't cut him off or what. But, but we thought we had it. And, uh, you know, so, you know, senior day, we dialed up one for Tyler Davis and it didn't work. Uh, but we went into the game. If we got in that situation, we were going to 100% call it. And uh, I think it was long one. Um, and so we were like, well, okay, here we go. So didn't work. Nate also ran down Walker on that at the one. Yeah, earlier. yeah. Did, did you think he was just charged up with this, these matchups, this, this type of game? Uh, I, you know what? I thought. I mean, I just think. I mean, that kid's a great play. He made a play. Uh, Nate got him down, and and uh, you know we got we got a uh, a huge stop there. Was was good, but um, I think he had one catch in the second half. I think, you know, but what I love about Nate is, yeah, he gave up a big play, and sometimes that's just some maturation. Those of you who've really watched this kid, you know, from his freshman year, you see a lot of maturation in him, and that's something we've really worked hard on is just, you know, okay, he made a great play. Let's stay within ourselves, right, and let's just keep playing, and I just thought he had a lot of poise tonight. I thought he played with a ton of poise, a ton of grit. He stayed focused. Um, that kid's a great player. He made a play, and um, – you know, we just go on to the next one. But, um, you know, just great hustle from him. He had a couple big tackles, uh, you know, a couple big plays that he deflected, PBUs as well, and then obviously the interception at the end of the game. But uh, that was just – I thought I thought he – in fact, I told him that after the game. I was just really proud of him. I just thought – because sometimes he can get a little amped, you know, especially when he's playing, you know, some elite dudes. And I just thought he really – Played within himself the whole game with a lot of poise. Was that play he made right up there with Kayvon Wallace at Texas a and Yeah. I mean, just, you know, it was just Kayvon was closer. You know, it was a, a – I mean, he didn't run like 60 yards. I don't even know how far – I mean, that was a – that was a – that was a – that was a long play. Uh, and, you know, he's gone. I mean, he's going to score. I mean, he's – I mean, it just was amazing. But similar – in that uh, it was, I thought, a huge game-changing play. I mean, the, that play that Kayvon, you know, you don't always know at the time how the game's going to go, but that was, that play was huge. It came down to, what, a two-point conversion that year. Uh, so that play was huge. And then certainly, you know, you win by 11, you know, that's a big touchdown off the board right there. Uh, so just awesome. Okay. Like, you know, time of possession, too. What did we have the ball? We had the ball like 30-something, 30 30, 38 minutes. And so Aiden, we uh, he had three punts of fifty plus. We we struggled uh, early. Uh, we we didn't we weren't we struggled a little bit with the field position. Um, but then we then we really flipped it, and we were able to win the time of possession. And sometimes you don't really pay attention to that. Sometimes it don't matter, you know, you, especially if you're scoring a lot. But against Drake May and that offense, man, it matters. And uh, so to have the ball thirty eight minutes and to and you know we were doing pretty good on third down, and then we just had a. As the game changed in the fourth quarter, we had a few that we, you know, just we didn't convert on. But um, great job by those guys taking care of the ball down the stretch. Yeah, North Carolina, I guess, had was gaining yards in that first quarter. What did the defense do 
to kind of flip the switch and say, you know, let's play like we, we've been playing. Well, well you, you know, you have to stop the run uh, to be able to rush the passer. And, you know, and I'm anxious to watch the tape, but, um, I mean, we're playing aggressive. We're playing aggressive. I mean, we're, I mean, we're, we're playing press man, you know, in your face. And we're getting after it. And when you do that, if you're not precise in how you fit the run, uh, you know, they can go a ways. Uh, I mean, you don't have a lot of guys with eyes, right? And so they, we, they, we missed it. I think Barrett missed a tackle on one, you know. I mean, they made a play. Our, their guy beat our guy. And uh, so you're counting on those plays to be made. Tackling is at a premium when you're playing a lot of man coverage. And... Um, we had some spy situations uh, on as well, and you know he got outside on us a couple times. He spit. He's just really he's really good at at setting the lanes and letting the play develop and then finding a crease. I mean he's just he's just he's a problem. I mean he does a great job of that. Even when you got a guy there, and sometimes you know we had a guy looping and and he made a play, and then but we missed a tackle, we misfit a couple, but um, you know. They, they ended up, we settled in. And once we really got going, we stopped the run. And as we stopped the run, we were able to get to him. And, you know, the big play, uh, the, the third down play, that's one of the things he does best. And we let him scramble outside. And when he scrambles, I mean, if you really study them, some of the biggest plays that they have every single game is him scrambling and then finding a guy 50 yards. And that was a heck of a play. And Khalil, just you know, young guy, you got to you got to cover him, you know, until Sunday, you know, whatever. I mean, as long as it takes. And that was a great throw and, and a big time play on a third down for him. Um, so that's just what he can do. But the main thing is, is we we settled in on the run, and then right there down in the stretch in the fourth quarter, you know, they they popped a couple uh, on us uh, as well, and the quarterback scrambled on us and a couple draws. But that was the key, and the turnovers. I was going to say, I think Shipley was calling you old when he said that uh, you keep saying the worm is turning, and he had never heard that before. <laughs> is that right? Well, hell, I don't know. I mean, y'all have heard it before, so I guess y'all are old too. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the worm has turned, and hopefully we can continue that trend. It's, it's, a, it's man, it's just awesome to be able to get some takeaways and Sacks. I mean, Trotter's had three games in a row with a sack, and he almost he almost had an he should have had an interception. Uh, Khalil was close on one, and so I'm just proud of how those guys are competing ball on the ball. How about Avion Terrell, man? He made some plays. He made some competitive plays on the ball, and uh, Shelton got in there and had a big play. It was good. Sherry Sherry got back. I think he had a, a PBU tonight too. And so it was just just good to see those guys making plays on the ball. AJ was here today, AJ Terrell, so I know he had a great time watching his, his little brother uh, compete. Now, the way you guys play today in the back end, is it safe to say maybe this is the best secondary you've had here at Clemson? Oh, man, you ain't getting me into that. We got a long way to go. Uh, I'll be getting emails and calls. From, we've, had some, we've had some pretty good dudes roll through here, so let's, let's, let, them, let's let them grow up a little bit. But, but they're, you know, they're off to a good start in their career. And... Um, I'm really proud of them. We got a lot of guys back, you know. T-Bone, we didn't get him in there on, on defense today, but it was good to get him back and kind of in, in flowing a little bit. Um, but I'm proud of these guys, man. I mean, we got a, we got a bright future with those guys. and You know, same thing with the guys up front. And, and hats off to our defense, man. Our staff's done an awesome job. Maybe they've, they've – y'all have heard me say this many times. I mean, they've played well enough for us to be undefeated. I mean, they really have. And, and I'm, I'm proud of them because uh, they've, they've stayed with it. They've, they've just kept battling. Uh, they have not pointed fingers. They've just kept lifting their teammates up, encouraging those guys. And, and uh, they, they love these guys. And they see. They know. Um, but it's pretty special, you know, to see um, or to have affirmation of what you think y your core values are, if you will, uh, to see them come to light. And, um, you know, sometimes you just got to, you gotta, you gotta go through some challenges to really, you know, really see. And man, these guys have been amazing. I mean, Xavier Thomas, six years, and this kid is grease lightning coming off that edge out there. I mean, he is, he is a problem. Uh, he is smoking off the field, and 
and off that edge and, and uh, just seeing them play so hard, you know, um, and just working on their craft, focusing on what they control and, uh, you know, really, you know, not being distracted by disappointment or maybe things that haven't gone the way we wanted them to. Uh, they've just kept playing and, and it's just really, really um, uh, a blessing and just, you know, I'm thankful to, for those guys to be able to have tonight, you know, to walk off and for the rest of their lives, they'll know they, they won their last game in the Valley. It's, it's pretty special. Coach, the uh, direct snap to Mount Mop, I don't think we've seen that before. Were you holding on to that, saving that? Uh, we actually it? ran a similar play, I don't know if it was last week or the week before, and he bobbled it. Uh, I don't know if you all remember that. We had a direct snap. Uh, Cade kind of motioned. And, but, um, you know, it was a little cleaner today, and, and, and he finished it. But we just, you know, wanted to get it in, in his hands. And we had a nice little, little call right there, and, and uh, he finished it. It was a big, big, big play. Uh, in a big moment in the game. So you had 24 points in the red zone, and I know that's been an issue from the get-go. Yep. Talk about that for a little bit. Yeah, uh, we've been better in the red zone, you know, when we've won the turnover margin. And, I mean, we're going to be di- – we're when this season's all over, we'll be last in red zone uh, because we've been chasing that since the Duke game. I mean, you, you have a game like that, you're going to be at the end. You, I don't care what you do the rest of the year, you're going to be in the bottom. Uh, when you miss on all those opportunities that we missed on, and then certainly what we did, you know, uh, with Miami and uh, the, the turnovers that we've had in those situations, and then we had, you know, one again today down in there. So, just proud of them, man. They've they've uh, they've they've battled through it. They've gotten better, and you know, starting to learn how to finish again. You know, and sometimes you got to just you got to you got to have a little pain, you know, to to grow, and you have to finish. You have to finish. Um, you got to finish the drive. You got to finish the play. You got to finish the quarter. You got to finish the workout. You got to finish the sprint. You got to finish across the goal line. And you know this, this team is, has 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 put themselves in position to have a really good finish. You know you can have a great start and not finish well. Um, you know it's all about how you finish, and you have to learn how to. You know it's not easy to get to the end of anything that you do, whether it's. The, end of your degree, you know, anything that you're, that's, that you're chasing, it's hard. And uh, certainly in football, and, and, and especially when you've had setbacks and adversity along the way to, to have to keep going. Um, and these guys have really had a lot of resilience and, and um, proud of them for that. So, you know, we had a couple, I don't know, that we're going to get counted to misses. You know, then you take a knee a couple times in the red zone or whatever, and those count against you too. We throw those out at the end of the year. But... But we, we've not been great, but we've been better down the stretch. And uh, hopefully that can continue. If it does, we keep winning the turnover margin and, and doing a good job with this field position and, and being good red zone O and D, hey, we're going to be tough to beat. We're tough to beat. Offensive line played really well the past yep. three games. I think they had zero, zero sacks. No sacks. Yep. Yeah. yeah, no sacks. We had four on them, and, and they had none. And, um, just, you know, hats off to those guys. Man, how about Tristan Lee getting after dudes out there? I mean, they just, I mean, those guys are just fun to watch. They're battling. They're kind of, you know, uh, ham and egging it a little bit together. We're, we're, we're just rolling guys in there and, and just trying to find the best combination. And this guy will get a little hot hand in this guy. And, and we kind of know what we got in Tristan and, and Blake and Putnam. They're kind of keeping us settled down. And then we're just figuring it out as we go uh, with all the other guys. And it's been fun. You know, they're competing their tails off. They've taken a lot of pride. Uh, in it, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's fun to see. It's fun to see. Was this about the most players you've had available all season? I mean, you had five starters out tonight. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think we. I mean, you know, we still don't have Jay Lou. Yeah, he's pretty good. You know, we ain't had him in a while. Of course, Antonio's played four games all year. Cole, Tink. I mean, we're going to Walker Parks, Tate. We got a bunch of them. I think we got about. 14 scholarship guys out right now. Um, JP's still out. But Sherry came back today. Had Trey out there today. So everybody we have, uh, even all the red shirt guys, are available the rest of the way. So that's good. That gives us a little bit of depth in how we practice and special teams and, and all that stuff. What was the uh, message and just kind of mindset for this senior class, knowing what they accomplished? <laughs> 
kind of a grittier bunch, been through some harder times than previous, previous senior classes, but what was your message and did you talk to them individually as a group as a, as a game near? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's been, you know, this is always a, a fun week, um, you know, but I just told them, hey man, take it all in, smell the roses a little bit, but hey man, let's freaking get to work. You know, let's, let's, it's a great moment, but we need to dominate the moment. We need, we need to finish. It's going to mean a lot more to you if we finish than, you know, all the other pomp and circumstance. And, you know, these guys were really locked in on, on trying to finish uh, in a positive way. I mean, six and one at home in the Valley, I don't know who, uh, Tim or Ross, maybe, how many, what was the thing y'all were telling me about six wins at home? 13, 13 years in a row, the next longest was three. The there you go. You know, uh, that's for all the people who think we suck, okay? Um, say that again. What was it? 13 consecutive years with at least 13 six. 13 straight wins. years with at least six home wins, and the next longest streak is three. Who is that, by the way? Coastal. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hard to win. It's hard to win. And so, you know, to see these guys fight like that, um, it's pretty special. You know, it's not easy to win. I don't care where you play, but – our fans get a huge uh, pat on the back for that because the environment is special. It's a tough place to play. It really is a tough place to play. and Our kids take a lot of pride in it. Um, our fans take a lot of pride in it. And so, you know, that's pretty special for them to achieve that, especially with a season that we've had. Again, we've been easy to pout or point fingers or, you know, woe is me. These guys have shown up and they have competed their butts off all year, and that's just – a credit to their character and um, just who they are as, as young people. Shipley says he has a, told us he has a tough decision to make after the season. What, what's your advice? Uh, you know, I think it's a decision just because he's got his degree. I, I think if he didn't have his degree, I think I think you come back. Uh, so I don't. I think you know he's a he's a dynamic player. I think he's going to be a great pro. I think he kind of you know he's he's a guy that. Um, Coaches are going to love. Um, he can do so much. I mean, he's just a – he's a special talent. And like I said, he's just got to decide if he's ready to give up college football, if he wants to take one more shot at it, if he – you know. And so we had a good talk about it. And, you know, he'll have to make a decision. Uh, but he'll, he'll pray on it and he'll do what he thinks is best. But, man, this guy, not only has he gotten his degree in three years, he's a perfect 4.0. Y'all just try that one on. Although y'all have been to college, right? I think everybody goes to college at some point. I mean, Pete, did you go to college? I did. All right, we're good. Where'd you go? Red Storm, St. John's. Okay, St. John's. All right, it sounds like a smart school, but anyway, <laughs> all I know is, all I know is, this guy is a perfect 4.0, and he's graduated in three years, and he's one of the highest performing athletes in the country. I mean, how hard is that? I mean, it's just, it's just crazy to me uh, to process that. So, you know, he's earned that. And, again, through that, I think he's got a decision to make. But uh, it's just a matter of what he wants to do. And uh, we'll, we'll be all for him no matter – I hope he comes back. Uh, you know, one more little ride with, with – I mean, because we've kind of hit our stride with him and Mafa, right? Like, this is kind of what, what we're seeing. And, and some of it is, you know, because they've had games where this guy missed, this guy missed, whatever. But – They've kind of found themselves. They both know who they are. They complement each other well. And they're a problem. I mean, it's a problem. Uh, I mean, it is a load to have to handle these two dudes for four quarters. So, I, 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 I mean, I hope he comes back uh, because I think we've got a good team coming back and, and he's a great player. But, um, you know, hey, I, whatever he decides, I'm all for it. And a couple other guys got to make a decision. You know, a guy like Trent Howard, I mean, he, he's graduating. He's not sure yet. Uh, you know, he's another guy I hope comes back. I mean, obviously, he's, he's, been, he's been a big factor for us and has really, really helped us uh, down the stretch. So I hope he will come back for another year. But, you know, you never know. Sometimes these guys, they're ready to get married or they're ready to go on into the whatever's next in life. And so you just don't know what's driving all these decisions. But. You know, I would have played forever. Uh, you know, I just loved to play, and I'd have kept playing. I just finally ran out of places to play. Uh, so, you know, we'll see what they do. Have you seen fans jump the gun like that on the end of the game, or um, like in a meeting in the ball? Uh, no, I hadn't really, I hadn't really seen that. that that's, the, that's the first time we've had that in a while. Usually, they, 
you know, they, we get a little bit of a chance to go shake hands, but I know it was it was a little confusing because they thought the clock was running and we called timeout. Um, so that that kind of was a distraction. Uh, but we were trying, like I said, we were trying to just get our seniors just just to give the crowd one more little tip of the hat right there and and then finish the game. But I think we got to get Hunter Helms out there too for the for the last snap. So that was that was good. But fans were awesome. Coach Brown was great. You know. Um, Y'all all know how I feel about um, Coach Brown, and there's several guys on that staff. You know, I was uh, Jason Jones is a coach on that staff, and he he was playing when I was coaching at Alabama. Obviously, I was one of Freddie Kitchen's coaches. He's on that staff now, and I've known Chiswick for a long time. Um, so just a just a, uh, a fun day for us, and good to see a lot of familiar faces. And you know, Coach Brown's done a done a heck of a job, man. That was a you know tough game, uh, and again, you know, I. I I've lived that, uh, where, you, where you, you know, you're going in to score and all of a sudden the ball gets stripped and you're like, what the heck happened? So I've been on both sides of it. I'm glad it was, we were on the right side of today. Any chance you might get Antonio back for this week? I don't possibly, you know, we'll see, we'll see where he is. Pro you know, probably not likely, uh, but we do feel good about the bowl game. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see where he's at Monday. Coach, all this talk with the seniors, what's been one of your favorite moments of the last few years with them? Oh, man, just, just you know, being on the practice field, meetings, um, being on the bus, going to the movies, you know. Um, I mean, this is a fun group. They're, they're good people, and it's a really, really fun group. Uh, ton of gra I think we're going to have about 30 graduates by the time we get to the bowl game. Uh, we got any bowl people in here? Where are you all from? We got a chance at the peach. Uh, oh, you came to see North Carolina. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, okay. I was about to say, we, I don't think we're going to make the peach this year, but we appreciate you coming. Uh, They're the tax slayer people in the press box. Okay. That's the Gator Bowl? Yep. Okay. Well, hey, we got work to do. The more, more we win, the warmer it gets. That's all I know. The what? The Pop-Tarts Bowl. Okay. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, it was great. Dabo, you're always pretty entertaining to watch on the sideline, but you, I have some great video of you this, from this game. Jumping on guys, just you seemed almost giddy at times. Was this, was it extra fun? Because oh, there were some was amazing great. plays to be giddy about. Uh, <laughs> when a guy's running in for a touchdown, and next thing you know, it's your ball the other way. I mean, man, that's some crazy stuff. But it was fun. I mean, I just wanted to enjoy these guys, you know. I really wanted to I, – I really love these guys. I mean, Rook and TD, man, uh, you know, we might have a junior or two head out early. Uh, Putnam, I mean, just a, these guys have just battled. Mickens, uh, it's just – you know, I'm just happy for them. And it's just fun to see them compete. It's fun to see them strain and, you know, just put their heart into what they're doing. And I just uh, – it was, it was a, there were a lot of – there were a lot of big-time plays. A lot of big time plays, so just fun, fun day to to you know, that's one I, that's one I'll remember right there. That was a special one. We've been our backs have been against the wall for it seems like you know forever. Uh, and I mean, we just keep battling. We just keep we just keep battling, and it's 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 again it's inspiring to be a part of it. Any questions for Coach Virtually? Coach, you talked about the Anybody else in the room? All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you all.